You know, I, I got to coach her last year on the JV team, and she's a, she's a true competitor. She plays hard every every practice, every every time she's on the field, she plays hard. You know, she's the one you see after practice taking extra swings or ground balls. And, um, you know, aside, I mean, if you didn't realize that she was a girl, you would just think she was just... Just another ball player. Not, yeah, just another ball player, because she goes about her business like a true professional, you know? Uh -huh. And she's a joy to be around. What's it been like, you know, training with with the varsity? Well, I think that varsity is just really another name for baseball. And when I had the chance to play this summer with USA Baseball, it kind of put baseball into perspective, which is what my coaches here have been teaching me the past few years I've been here is all about perspective. And really, varsity is just the next step, and it's what I've been waiting for since I was a little kid, and it's what people told me I'd never be able to do, and now I do it, and it's amazing. It's got to help you being a pitcher and you have someone like Riley Moore behind the plate to, to throw to us. Riley's amazing. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he got drafted in the first first round or the second round and he's an amazing catcher he knows a lot about the game and he's a great guy and he's he's always positive behind the plate I mean coming from USA baseball and then coming from the lower levels here at San Marcos to the varsity I mean did you have to make any adjustments to your game your pitching or uh, I was fortunate enough to go to um, I made my varsity debut last year actually okay. and I played in a few varsity games last year but when I um, had the chance to play for USA, it was right after season ended, and it right after I knew I was going to be a full-time varsity player. And so the adjustments were made during the summer when I got to play in front of you know 20,000 fans, and like I said, it really put everything in perspective. Is there a difference still coming to like being on the varsity boy? I mean, just I was just being with these guys. Is it is it any different for you, or is it just just a bunch of ball players? It's just a bunch of ball players. It's just baseball. Yeah. Teammates here. I mean, you got Riley Moore, Kachner. What's the, what's uh, been the feeling about that? You know, you know, he's he's a he's above all a great teammate because he works harder than anybody else, and he's you know there's a reason why he's one of the best players in the county because of his work ethic and and he treats her just like another teammate. If she can't throw strikes, I mean, we're gonna have a little inner squad right here, and if she's not doing what she's supposed to do, he's gonna be the first to tell her. Okay. What about her pitching ability? I mean, uh, is, is varsity baseball now? I mean, the skill level is a lot higher. And... Well, she throws strikes, and, and, and she throws strikes, and, and we try to get you know the ball put in play within five pitches, and usually people are hitting the ball with but within five pitches off of her. You know, she puts the ball over the strike zone, and um, she's got a good little curveball and changes speeds, and she's you know. She could be a good pitcher if uh, I mean, cause she's got the savvy. She's got the knowledge of how to set up hitters. And The last year I was really stressing about um, playing, getting a chance to play in college. And I was fortunate enough this offseason to have committed to a university. And I have a lot of coaches here that are working with me, Coach Benetti, Coach Catalini, Coach Crawford, um, Coach Miller. And all of those people have just taught me about perspective. And the most important thing about baseball is that you love baseball and that you go out and play it no matter what anyone says. No one has a right to tell you what you can and can't do. What about this game on March 5th against Birmingham where you have the two 
uh, gals pitching against each other, you know, Azale and the Marty Cementelli from Birmingham. Well, I think it'll be exciting. I, I think that, you know, it's, it's kind of fun. What about uh, this game coming up to kick off the season uh, against uh, your old USA teammate at Birmingham? Um, it's an honor, and uh, I was fortunate enough to, to give a speech at the round table about it, and um, it's an honor and it's really a privilege because this barrier, this gender barrier in baseball is getting broken more and more every year. And 80 years ago was the first time that it should have been broken. And it was a girl by the name of Jackie Mitchell, and she struck out Babe Ruth. And after she struck out Babe Ruth, the commissioner of baseball banned her and all the rest of girls from professional baseball. And so there's a lot of barriers that should be broken, and this is an honor to be able to break this one. No two girls have ever pitched against each other in a high school game. And me and Marty, um, my fellow teammate, we're both playing college baseball next year. We both have similar stories. We both have had to transfer high schools. You know, this isn't our, this is not our first high school because of problems that we've had on the baseball field. And because of that, it's, we're such good friends and it's an honor to be able to pitch against her. Get over, get over, get over, get over. Thank you.